Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Minasan, Namaskar and welcome to the class in the second lecture series on Japanese language and culture. So last week in our lectures we did the te form of the verb with imas, with kudasai, with kara. Now they all have different meanings. So this week as you have learnt all of that last week we will try to do the negative form of kudasai. So there is a small uh, passage for you, conversation here, which you can listen to and uh, let us see how much you understand and whatever is left, we'll do in the class. So let's come to our class directly. Sumimasen, ningyo hitotsu to kono okashi futatsu o negai shimasu. Okeyaku-san, kaado desu ka? Hai, kaado de haraimasu. Shoshou machi kudasai. Kaado dozo. あの、別々に包んでください。そして人形はお菓子と同じ袋に入れないでください。別の袋に入れてください。はい、わかりました。So all of you just heard the kaiwa. There are some things which you have done in the kaiwa and there are some things which are new. So we'll do that right away. 私一回これを読みます。その後説明します。よく聞いてくださいね、皆さん。はい、じゃあ皆さんと店員の会話です。二人はどこですか？二人はやっぱり店ですよね。店員ですから店ですよね。だからすみません。人形一つとこのお菓子二つお願いします。So we just did お願いします with kudasai. And we saw the difference in our last class. So you can see very clearly over here that onegai shimas, which is a request, which means please, and so does kudasai. You can see from here that an action is required, though it is not mentioned, but that is what Mira is saying. Ningyo hitotsu to kono okashi. This sweet or snacks. Futatsu onegai shimasu. Please give these two to me. That's the meaning. She could have easily said, Ningyo hitotsu to kono okashi futatsu kudasai. That is, please give these to me. And because she is asking him to do something for her, she is using this word, sumimasen, which means both excuse me and sorry. Sorry for the trouble. And excuse me is drawing somebody's attention to yourself. Then Tain says, Okyak-san, kado desu ka? Now, kado is card. Are you going to pay by card? Kado desu ka? So, this doesn't mean, is it a card? No. It means, are you going to pay by card? Hai, kado de harai mas. This is very clear from here. Kado de haraimasu. So you have done de in various ways. We are going to see de over here in the lecture now. Shosho machi kudasai. So we did shosho machi kudasai also with chotto matte kudasai. And it is exactly the same, meaning is exactly the same. There is no change in meaning except where to use shosho o machi kudasai and where to use chotto matte kudasai. Chotto matte kudasai is a little informal, generally used with friends, family, people your age, in informal situations you could say. And shosho o machi kudasai is generally a very typical 
Denva expression where somebody in office when asks the customer or the person on phone on the other side to wait for a while that is when they will say show show or machi kudasai. Also you can hear this in restaurants where when you go and uh, the waiters there will say please wait for a minute by using shosho omachi kudasai. This is more polite, more formal and proper. Kado dozo. So, what does this mean kado dozo? Now, this is a continuation over here because she has said kado de haraimas. I will pay by card and probably she has given her card and he does all the payments and everything and then he is returning the card over here. Kado o dozo. Dozo is actually giving permission to somebody. The literal meaning of dozo is giving permission to someone, but dozo depends on situation. For example, kado or dozo, so somebody is giving the card to you and asking you to kindly take the card. So, kado or dozo, well, please take your card. Isho de yoroshi desu ka? Isho you have done with? Isho. Ni together with. Isho de yoroshi desu ka? Is it all right if I put it together? Isho de. Yoroshi is very, very polite for e. Is it all right? Is it okay? E desu ka? Ano. So, this expression ano is very different from ano. Ano is pointing at something which is far from the listener and the speaker both and that is ano. This is ano. So, when you take time to think, when you want some time to think as to what to do now, that is when you will say ano. You are not sure of what you are going to say in a situation. So, that time ano is used. Betsu betsu, betsu betsu ni tsutsunde kudasai. Tsu tsu mu. Tsu tsu mu is the verb. It is the group one verb, which means to tie. So, betsu betsu ni tsutsunde kudasai. Please wrap it up separately. Betsu betsu is separately. Soshite and ningyo wa okashi to onaji fukuro ni irenai de kudasai. Please do not put Ireru is, ireru is to pour or to put. So, ningyo which is doll, okashi which is snacks, onaji means same, fukuro is bag. So, onaji fukuro ni in the same bag, please do not put is what it means. Betsu no fukuro ni irete kudasai. This you have done, please put it in a separate bag. And he says, Vakari Mashta, I have understood. So, we are going to do all of this now in class. This is for you in the script. You can look up all of it. There are some kanjis, isho, kado is written in katakana, onaji is there, there are simple kanjis, betsu, fukuro, so many of them. So, you can Go over it, see. I know you cannot remember all the kanjis, but at least you can do the hiragana. And there is ireru over here, which you have done, which means to pour or to put. You have done it as iri, iri guchi. So now, how will you make this form? Naide kudasai. It is very simple. Now, if you do it with plain form of the verb, the dictionary form of the verb, then you have to remove the o from here. And what do you put? Anaide kudasai. Anaide kudasai. Just remove this. So, yo ma naide kudasai. No ma naide kudasai. Ika naide kudasai. This is group 1 as you know and this is group 2. 
So, taberu, tabe. Tabe ru, remove this and put tabe naide to the side. So, over here you have to remove the ru. In this case, you have to just remove the u from here and put a naide. And over here, naide. That is the only difference in group 1 and group 2. You can also make it in another way, which is from the negative form of the verb. Now, yomimas, yomimas, yomimasen. This is yomu and this is yoma nai. Isn't it? So, well, you just have to use this and put yoma nai and de kudasai. Whichever you want you can learn and use whichever is easy you can do i am giving you both so yomanai nomanai ikanai kakanai and just put de kuda sai nai is already here and you can put de kuda sai so it makes a negative so you can do it either this way or this way whichever is convenient now i'll write it for you again Yomu, I'll show it to you in Roman. Yomu, yoma, nai, yoma, nai. The M is over here and A over here. Yoma, nai, and yoma, nai, de, kuda, sai. So both ways you can see from yomu make negative plain form and then do the De kudasai for group 1. Then for group 2, you can do taberu, remove the ru, put tabe nai negative, and then tabe nai de kudasai. I think it is very, very clear. Group 3 is kuru. Konai, the form is kona, kona ide kuda sai. And suru, shinai, and shinai de kuda sai. So, this is group 3, group 2, this is the pattern, and group 1, this is the pattern. You can remember it for negative. Naide kudasai. Please do not do this. Please do not do whatever the verb is saying. You can see over here also kairimasen, kairanai, and kairanaide kudasai. Please do not return. Oshiemasen, oshienai, oshienaide kudasai. Please do not teach. Nomimasen, you already know. Haraimasen, haravanai and haravanai de kudasai. Now, why do we have a va over here? Because this is an exception. Exception, why? Because it has two vowels. It is ha ra u. Ha ra u. You can see two vowels. And in negative, for two vowels, always va is there. You can see it in kau, kava nai, au, ava nai, varau, varava nai. So, all the time with two vowels, you will see va is going to be there. That is why harau is in the exceptions category to pay. Now, hashirimasen, hashiranai and hashiranai de kudasai. Do not run. Please do not run. Do not pay. Then, minai, you already know, do not see. So, you can practice like this. I think 
by now it is very very clear so let us go to the next slide so you have practice here this is group 2 you can see verbs ending in eru and iru are in group 2 so shimeru means to close shut so what is he doing he is closing the window so atsui kara mado o shime nai de kudasai please do not close the window shime nai de kudasai atsui kara so giving reason for not closing the window then we have hanasu you can see very clearly hanasu means to talk so nagai jikan nagai jikan is for a long time tomodachi to den wa de hanasanai de kudasai so with tomodachi using den wa hanasanai de kudasai or on den wa hanasanai de kudasai in english so they over here again you will see they all these they that we are doing here today we will do them in detail later also for the time being concentrate on the nai de kudasai form and i am giving you the meaning how it is used you can also say to isho ni isho ni has been removed just to is used which means with now we have miru over here miru means to see or to watch teribio mite kudasai very very clear please watch television itsumo teribio minai de kudasai itsumo is always so always teribio minai de kudasai i'm sure that's what your mother tells you all the time so you will remember this minai de kudasai now this is also a picture of Setsubun, which is a festival or we could say the changing season and the dates for Setsubun in Japan are the 2nd or the 3rd of February when the season changes. So this is Mame Maki, you can look up Mame Maki. I will maybe tell you sometime about Mame Maki and what all is done during Mame Maki. Uh, but here I am using it in another way. Asobu. So, itsumo asobanai de ne. So, the intonation is rising because who is talking? Mother is talking. And kudasai is please. So, please generally you will use with seniors or in formal situation. Of course, mothers do not have to use please with small children. So, they are just ordering. And please remember, kudasai is also a semi order. Minai de kudasai. So, I am not asking your permission. I am not asking you whether you want to watch or not. I am just requesting you not to do it. So, it is a semi order. It is a polite order. So, over here, mother is saying, itsumo asobanai de ne. And the intonation is, rising please remember it is a semi order also thus you can see her hand and she is ordering that enough is enough you better study now then you have su su is to smoke as you can see very clearly and koko de tabako o suwanai de kudasai you have this sign at a lot of places in restaurants on trains in hotels that you are not to smoke over here koko day over here this day i am sure you will remember it is action at a place so koko is place place day action place de tabako o suwanai de kudasai it's a polite request or you could say a polite order then suwaru is to sit maybe the chair is broken so very clearly written that kono isu o tsukawanai de kudasai please do not use this chair su 
カウエストゥユーズ。使わないでください。Please do not use. This is to sit because it's a chair. So, what else do we have? この椅子に座らないでください。Please remember that isu o skawa nai de kudasai and isu ni suara nai de kudasai. Because you sit on the chair and you use a chair. Is it clear? On the chair and a chair or a thing. So you will use something and sit on something. That's the difference. So kono isu ni. Suara nai de kudasai. And don't write kono isu no nakani. Because nakani will mean that you will go inside over here, not on the chair, in the chair. There is more for you for kudasai so that you can learn all these new verbs as well, how to use them and make the te form, the negative te form of the verb, and do conversation. So, empitsu de kakanai de kudasai. So, you have done this day also with the help of a pencil. Using a pencil, kakanai de kudasai. Basically, it means do not use a pencil. Pencil is not allowed. Empitsu o tsukawanai de kudasai. Please do not use a pencil. So, you can see o again over here with Skawanai de kudasai, though the noun has changed. De over here is with. Now, hosu. So, hosu means to hang. It's a group. One verb like hanasu. So, you can see over here in a similar manner, you will have to make the mass form. Hoshi. Hoshi mas. Now, what is the sentence? Koko de fuku o hosanai de kudasai. Koko de over here place de again. What is the action? Hosu is the action. Hang is the action. So, koko de fuku o something o hosanai de kudasai. Something or mono object. O verb. I think it's very clear from these examples how to use nai de kudasai of the form, and you have learnt a lot of new verbs as well. So try to use them in your conversation. Now, in your kaiwa, there is this verb wakarimas, and another verb which you did in lesson 8, shiru. These two verbs are translated into English as. I do not know, but the meaning of both the verbs is very different. These are two different verbs used in different situations with different meanings, but as foreigners, we cannot see the difference as we are not in that environment, we are not listening to Japanese people. Though the Japanese will understand what the speaker means or is trying to say, but I think it is always better to know the difference. So. Verb wakaru, which we are going to do first, is used when the speaker knows what he is talking about. The subject is known to him. Whatever he is telling or whatever the conversation, the subject is known to the speaker. So he can ask his listener, wakarimashita ka? Whatever he has said, whatever the speaker is telling or explaining, which he knows about, and he wants the listener to understand. He can always ask and say, Vakarimashita ka? Have you understood? For example, in class, after telling you something, I can ask, Have you understood what I have just explained to you or what I have been explaining for so long? Or I could always say now, uh, Have you understood the te form? Minasan Vakarimashita ka? So if you have understood what has been explained, the answer would be in positive. Hi, Vakarimashita. But if you have not understood, then what are you going to say? You will say, Iye wakarimasen deshita. So now you can see over here, wakaru means to understand, and as I said, is used when the subject is known to the speaker. 
or he is explaining something, he knows what he is explaining about. When the subject is not understood by the listener, then the answer could be in negative, wakarimasen, right over here, wakarimashita ka hai, wakarimashita, iye, wakarimasen, deshita, I have understood, I know now. We can say both these things now. Now let us do the kanji for wakaru. It's a simple kanji and you have done it earlier as pun or hun, which is minutes. So this is wakeru and then we have wakaru. Both have the same kanji character and it is coming from this sword. This is the character for sword or knife and it is coming from here. Vakeru means to divide and vakaru means understand. So, I will make it once again for you. It is a simple kanji. So, 1, 2, 3 and please remember it is over here. It is under this line. So, 3 and 4. So, it is a 4 stroke character which means minutes as well as to divide and to understand. Now, let us see some more words with this kanji and see you have pun over here, pun, jup pun means 10 minutes, ju ip pun, these are simple kanjis that we did earlier and I am doing it now so that it is easy for you to understand and remember the kanji. Now, this is Jibun, this is ji and bun, a new word, ji bun, ji bun, then we have sui bun, this is mizu, you have done it as mizu, sui bun. So, over here 4 strokes and then again 4 strokes, sui bun. Then you have tabun, maybe, sui bun is humidity, so tabun is like this, tabun. Just concentrate on this one, all these other characters we will do some point during our lectures. Hambun, you understand hambun, han and bun. Cut something into two that is han and bun, ham, bun. I will make it once again like this and bun. Remember this stroke is over here, it does not cross this line. Now we will take up the verb shiru and shiru means do you know, do you have the knowledge of what is being asked or said, do you have any idea or information about the subject. It can be used both in negative and positive. For example, I can ask you, Mina san, Tokyo denki no Tanaka san o shitte imasu ka? So, if you know him, you can say hi, shitte or if you do not know, you will say iye shirimasen, that I do not know him. It is not about understanding, it is about whether you know something or not, do you have any information about it or not. So, shiru to know, to have knowledge of, idea, information about the subject. For example, all those of you who are in IIT Kanpur, will know IIT Kanpur ni Shiru Cafe ga dekita koto o shitte imasu ka? Do you know that we have Shiru Cafe here at IIT Kanpur? Shirimasen deshita, I did not know or just Shirimasen, I have no idea, I have no knowledge of that. So basically when you say shitte imasu ka, do you know, do you have any knowledge or information about the subject over here? And vakaru, as I just told you, is to understand. 
there is no knowledge over there involved or any information or idea it is just after I have asked you something or told you something I am inquiring I am confirming have you understood used when the subject is known to the speaker he could be explaining and telling and after this if the listener has understood or not. Of course, you can interchange the two, it does not matter when you are talking, but well, you should just know that is all. For example, Kondo no nichiyobi ni nani wo shimasu ka? So, I am talking about your plan. It has nothing to do with knowledge or information or an idea. I am just talking, what do you plan to do on Sunday, coming Sunday? So, shirimasen will show that, okay. That means you have you you have no idea about it, all right. But even what this gentleman is talking about, you have no information. So shirimasen will not work over here. Madavakarimasen will work. That I have still not decided. I do not know yet. Mada kimete nai this. I have not decided as yet. I have no idea as of now. Iku ka do ka wakarimasen, whether I am going to do something or I am not going to do something or I am going to go out somewhere or not go out somewhere, I have no idea at the moment. That would be a better answer. And these are all very informal answers. These are not to be used with the seniors or in formal situations. Then, Rao san no denwa bango shitte imasu ka? This is an information which I want to know. Can you tell me this? So, B san says, Shirimasen, I do not know. I have no idea. I have no knowledge basically meaning I do not have and I do not know. Ima tomodachi ni kiite mimasu. We did this last time. So, I will just ask my friend and see basically get the number from him. Now, shiru, you can see over here in dictionary form, shirimasu to know, shirimasen or shiranai in plain form, do not know, shitte imashita or shitte ita, I knew and shirimasen deshita or shiranakatta in plain form, did not know. But most of the time, you will see that shitte imasu ka is used, shitte imasu is used, that is, and ka is for asking and the answer would be either in shirimasen or shirana katta. Now in our kaiwa we also had a word hitotsu futatsu. Now what does it mean? Hitotsu and futatsu. So these are counters from 1 till 10 you count in Tsu, 1 till 10 you count in Tsu or the double sound Tsu and Tsu sometimes. So, Hitotsu, Futatsu, Mitsu, Yotsu, Itsutsu, Mutsu, Nanatsu, Yatsu, Kokonotsu, To, Tsu is not used over here, Juikko. So, you will see till 1 till 10 it is counted as tsu or the double sound tsu and this counting method is used for things. People are not counted in this manner, only things small irregular objects are counted like this. For example, you can have uh, small round triangular rectangular objects like keys and and rubbers and balls things like that you can count irregular shaped boxes small boxes you can count now after 10 it becomes ko of course you can use ikko also over here ikko ikko niko till 10 it doesn't matter but this is also used. So, there are two systems for counting small irregular objects. Ko is used after 10 from Ju Ichi. 
So, Juniko, Jusanko, Jugoko, Jurokko, and how many? The question word is Ikutsu. Ikutsu arimasu ka? For example, Tsukue no ue ni mono ga ikutsu arimasu ka? Nanatsu arimasu. So, mono ga ikutsu arimasu ka? Nanatsu arimasu. That's how you ask. And the important thing over here you will see now is Sumimasen. Hako ni ringo wa ikutsu arimasu ka? So, hako is or basketo. Ketto, basketo. Or nabe, which is, which is a pan ni ringo wa ikutsu arimasu ka? Ni over here is in. So, ringo wa itsutsu arimasu. Five. Now, sumimasen. Ringo o ichi kilo kudasai. Ichi kilo, one kg kudasai. Hai, arigato gozaimasu. The shopkeeper says arigato gozaimasu. So, what can you figure out from here? What is important? Important is thing plus number. Please remember. Always ringo o ichi kilo kudasai. Ichi kilo ringo kudasai is also okay. It is used informally, but the correct Sentence construction would be thing plus number. Make sentences like this and practice with your partner. Okay, there was yoroshi desu ka over there. So, e you already know, e is good, polite is gyoi, yokunai you have done, yokunai which is not good. Yokatta, which is very good, and yoku na katta, which is not good at all. So, see the sentences over here. You have used it a number of times in your sentences in conversation. Now, see, yoitoshi o mukai kudasai. This is a phrase which is used during uh, shogatsu, new year. Yoi toshi good year. Please welcome a good year. Then, tenki ga yokunai kara ikanai ho ga ii desu. Yoku nai. Yoku nai is not good. There is a spelling mistake here. Yoku nai. Then, yokata desu ne. For example, if you get a good job, so everybody will say yokata desu ne. That's really Great, that's very good. Congratulations, yokatta desu ne, omedetou gozaimasu. Or you get good marks in class. So, yokatta desu ne, ii desu ne. Now we can take up yoku nakatta. So, Rao san no insho wa yoku nakatta, that is the input that he gave was not very good. The ideas that he gave, yoku nakatta was not liked by someone or maybe all. Now, gakko no toki, sei seiki wa yoku nakatta desu. So, watashi no ne, watashi no mai marks. Sei seiki is marks. So, gakko no toki, when I was in school, watashi no sei seiki wa yoku nakatta desu. My sei seiki, my marks were not very good. So, you can use these sentences and make more using yoi, e, yokunai, yokatta, and yoku nakatta. Now, yoi, e desu, and yoroshi desu ka, very, very polite. E is normal. Generally, you would say, e desu ka, daijobu desu ka, e desu ka, so informal, and yoroshi desu ka is very, very formal. There was a sentence in the kaiba, issho de yoroshi desu ka? De yoroshi desu ka? Which means, is it all right? Very, very politely asking, is it all right if I put them together? So, yoroshiku you have done and where have you used this word 
Yoroshiku? Well, Yoroshiku onegai shimasu. First time when you meet someone, hajime mashite. Yoroshiku onegai shimasu. So, Yoroshiku means asking permission to do something. Now, you can see, kore o tsukatte ii desu ka? Is it alright if I use this? And, koko ni suwatte yoroshi desu ka? Is it alright with you if I sit over here? Very, very polite. Koko ni suwatte ii desu ka? Kono isu o tsukatte. Tsukatte yoroshi desu ka? Is it alright if I use this? chair. So, basically being very polite. Now, I have some similar looking kanjis. So, very very quickly you have done roku which is six and this is dai or oki very similar. So, please do not make this mistake one, two, three, four and one, two and three. This is used in dai ka. Then we have skoshi and chisai. So, skoshi you have just now done. This is the order. Sukoshi means little or small, but is used for quantity or amount. And chisai like this. Which is similar, only this is missing in chisai. So, chisai is like this. Chi i sai. Similar looking kanjis. So, remember them. And shosho, another word, another reading for this kanji is shosho. Sho. So, when you use it twice, then this is the character that is made which means you have to repeat this reading over here. We will do these words in our next chapter. You can also find, look up the dictionary and find some words like this. Some you already know, some I will tell you. For today, do show show. And I have already explained what it means. Now, there is this vocabulary. You can go over the vocabulary. Remember the words. There are some new verbs. Remember those. Use them in conversation. And with this, I would like to end our class today. There is lots for you to practice at home. Digest this much. Make sentences with your partner. Practice all that we have done and come prepared for your next class. Till then, sayonara. Mata Aimasho, Namaskar, and we'll meet again soon.